Hi, this is Dr. Bharat Vaj. I am CEO and Chief Dr. Firikas Homepathy. Today, we will discuss an important topic that is SIG bath for anal fissures. So, this is a practical topic. I will let you know why to take the SIG bath and how to take the SIG bath, what is the right way to take the SIG bath. Before we move on to the SIG bath, how to take the SIG bath, so we will likely touch upon what are fissures. Uh, we will look into fissures first. Coming to the anal canal, this is the anal canal where you pass the motion. Here the stool will be stored or your motion will be stored. Early morning you will pass the stool from this canal. You can see this is the anal canal, a last part of the intestine. There are three parts in the anal canal, upper part, middle part and lower part. You can see that the part below this line, this is known as dentate line below this line. This part is richly supplied by nerves. It means it is richly supplied by somatosensory nerves. It is highly sensitive. Any problem here, you will feel severe pain. Okay. Any lesion here or any damage to this lower part, you will feel severe pain. The pain will be unbearable. And above this line, you will not feel pain. Whatever happens here, you will not feel pain because there are no nerves endings here. That is the reason lower part of the anal canal, anything is painful. You can see there are two structures. This is internal anal splinter and this is external anal splinter. These are the two muscular structures around the lower part of the anus and also upper part of the anus. What these do is they will close the anus when you are not defecating or when you are not passing the motion, they will close and they will keep the anus tight so that there is no involuntary stool coming out of this. So these are the two important structures you have to remember here. Next one is anal fissure. What is anal fissure? Any cut, if you have constipation or if you have loose motions or if you have diarrhea or a dysentery, whatever the problem, what happens is when the stool is coming out, it will make a cut in the lower part of the anal canal. So, if there is a cut in the lower canal, lower part of the anal canal, that we call as anal fissure. And there are two types of anal fissure. One is acute anal fissure and one is chronic anal fissure. When the anal fissure is below 6 weeks old, it looks like this and this we call as acute anal fissure. When you have the fissures for more than 6 weeks or 1 and a half month, it becomes like this. The difference here is in acute phase, the wound is uh, narrower and it is not deep. In the chronic phase, it becomes much broader and it becomes deep. This is more dangerous and also you can see there will be extensions of skin below and above. These are known as sentinel piles. So, as we have discussed previously, any lesion here in this region, what happens is there will be severe pain. Because of the pain, the anal splinters, external anal splinter and internal anal splinter muscles around this anal region, they will contract. When they contract, what happens is there will not be a proper blood flow here and also when the motion is coming out, they will not open properly. You will have more damage, more blood coming out of it more pain and the pain and the tenderness will be severe because of the contracture of the external internal anal splinter and also when the motion passes out there will be blood also streaks of blood uh, attached to the motion it will be streaks attached to the motion this is a basic introduction about the anal fissure now we will look into why do we take sitch bath and what is the proper way of taking sitch bath for anal fissure So, why do we take the sitch bath for anal fissure? First reason is you know that there will be severe contraction of the anal splinter. To relax that splinter, you will take the sitch bath. You have to, to relax that splinter. Once you relax that splinter, pain relieved or the healing will be promoted. All those things will happen when you relax the splinter. That is the reason sitch bath is used. Next one is reduce the inflammation. Whatever the redness is there, swelling is there, pain is there, because of this sitch bath, it will come down. And also, See, anal region is the area, there are a lot of bacteria, virus, protozoans, fungus, everything will be there. To keep the area clean, you need to do the sitch bath. And also enhancing the heal, healing. When you do the sitch bath, there will be a lot of blood flow to that area. The anal splinter will relax and there will be a lot of blood flow to that area. Once there is a lot of blood flow to that area, what happens is there will be a lot of nutrients coming to that area and also a lot of antibodies, all the inflammatory mediators coming to that place. And also what happens is a rich supply of oxygen will be there because of that this healing of the wound or anal fissure will be quick. That is the reason you have to do the sitch bath for anal fissure. And we will now look into what is the proper way, what is the right way of doing a sitch bath. 
so you have to take a tub which it should be of comfortable size you should not be taking too small one and fill it with water up to 3 to 4 inches so that your anal canal is completely immersed in it and you have to use the warm water don't use too hot water or too cold water it will damage and irritate the anal canal and it will cause more pain and more contraction so that the water should be warm it should not be too hot and the warmness should be comfortable to you each person will have different comfort zones for the hot water or warm water you take the warm water which is comfortable to you and put this drops we have specialty drops for fissure see this drop you have to put 25 drops of this medicine so that this medicine have lot of properties like antibacterial properties or uh, it will act as disinfectant or it will reduce the pain it will reduce the inflammation so it will promote the healing lot of advantages with this uh, liquid so you put 25 drops of this liquid into the tub then what you have to do it you have to sit comfortably for 15 to 20 minutes you have to relax the anal region when you relax the anal region the anal splinter will get relaxed and there will be lot of blood flow healing will start and the pain will reduce that's the important thing once you complete the sitch bath dry that area completely with a cloth or very clean cloth so don't use uh, reuse the same cloth take the new cloth and use it properly how many times you have to do the sitch bath at least you have to do 3 to 5 times per day and when you can do the sitch bath you can do the sitch bath when you are under homeopathic treatment or before going to the surgery when you are before the surgery you can do the sitch bath or uh, if you are taking allopathic treatment and going for surgery even after the surgery you can do the sitch bath there will be lot of advantages healing will be quick you will be going to your daily routine very quickly such is the importance of sitch bath and this is how you have to take the sitch bath for anal fissure and coming to the treatment of anal fissure so we have two types of treatment one is uh, online treatment and other one is in person treatment in online treatment you can have audio call or video call with us you can discuss this case and if you have any reports you can share with us or any further reports are needed you can take it locally with our advice and send it to us electronically we will be shipping the medicines to your doorsteps wherever you are in india or wherever you are in this world we have lot of patients in us uk france we regularly ship and we regularly treat uh, anal fissure throughout the world so if it is india it will take 2 to 3 days to receive the medicine and if it is us it will take 4 days and if it is any other country it is around 5 days so but we will be treating the anal fissure throughout the world or else if you want to consult us in person you want to come to the clinic inquire about the nearest branch and uh, fix the appointment and you can come to us and take the treatment why you have to take the treatment from fidicus homeopathy because fidicus homeopathy has the highest success rate in treating the anal fissure we have lot of doctors who are highly qualified experienced and also lot of experience in treating both acute and anal fissure throughout the world not only in india both online person and in person mode so that's the reason you have to consider fidicus homeopathy and also the medicines we use we use top quality medicines you get the best medicine available on the planet for this disease that's the reason you have to consider fidicus homeopathy for both online and in person treatment of acute and chronic anal fissures thank you fidicus homeopathy 